Hi, welcome or welcome back to Marcus Manuals. Ako si Mark and today let's do rate part at base problem. So before we begin, let's look muna sa ating triangle kasi ito yung ano, formula natin sa lahat ng rate part and base problems. P stands for the part over rate for the R and B for the base. So whatever hinahanap, kunwari hinahanap si base, so i-divide si part kay R. And then, if hinahanap naman si R, I divide si part kay base. If hinahanap si part, I multiply si rate kay base. Now, kasi mayang iba na lilito pa, I have an illustration here. So, kunyari may cake tayo. Yung kabuuhan or yung entire cake mismo, ito yung base. Kasi base or the buo. Okay? Now, if i-slice natin si cake kasi kakain tayo. Slice natin ng apat. Ayan. Ang isang slice ng cake mismo is the part. Kasi parte lang ang isang slice ng kabuuhan ng isang cake. Now, speaking of rate, rate means for the uh, percentage. Ilang percentage ba ang isang slice ng cake? So since hinati ito sa apat, ang isang slice ng cake is only 25% ng buong cake. So therefore, in this case, our rate is 25%. Clear? Once that's clear, let's try answering our problems below. If 60% of a class consists of 30 students, how many students are in the entire class? So, sino ba yung, or ano ba yung hinahanap? Is it the rate, part, or the base? It is the base. Okay, kasi, translating this question, if 30 students daw ay bumubuo ng 60% ng entire class, Ilan ang number ng students in total? Okay. So, since hinahanap si base, going back to our triangle. So, let's do P over R. So, part natin is 30. And then, our rate is 60%. So now, i-divide lang natin. 30 divided by 60% or 0.6. So, since hindi siya whole number, let's move two places. So, naging 60 na siya. Then, since the move tayo dito, mag-add tayo ng dalawang zero dito. Now, 60 divided 3,000 is 5. Uh, 60 times 5, 300. Bring down zero. So, we have zero. So, therefore, if 30 students is equivalent to 60% of the entire class, we have 50 students in total. Example number two. A student answered 18 questions correctly out of 25 questions on a test. What percentage of the questions did the student answer correctly? Now, ano ba yung hinahanap? Is it the rate, part, or the base? Yeah, that's right. So since we have the word percentage, ang hinahanap is yung si rate. Part natin is 18. And the base or the buo is 25 kasi ito yung total. Now, let's divide 18 divided by 25. So, we have 0. So, we have point. Then, we have 0. 180 divided by 25 is 7. 7 20 times 25 is 175. 180 minus 175 is 5. We have 0. So, we have 2. So, therefore, we have 0. 0.72 or 72%. So, if the Student answered 18 questions correctly. Out of 25 questions, he answered 72% correctly in the entire test. For exercise, try answering these questions here and comment your answers down below.